New Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren has been in office for more than a month now, relatively quiet on Capitol Hill, but more visible back in the home state of Massachusetts. T uh, today she visited UMass Lowell. Our political reporter Allison King joins us now with a look at Warren's emerging role as now very quickly the senior senator from Massachusetts. And Allison is live in Lowell. Allison. Well, Mike, the last time Elizabeth Warren was at UMass Lowell, it was October. She was then U.S. Senate candidate Elizabeth Warren debating Senator Scott Brown. Of course, a lot has changed since then. Elizabeth Warren, now one of the more high profile members of the United States Senate, even as she tries to keep, at least in Washington, a low profile. If we make those investments, you have a future. Elizabeth Warren told a packed room of UMass Lowell students what she has been up to during her first month and a half in the U.S. Senate. Priorities include reining in gun violence, disaster funding for fishermen, and preventing automatic cuts to the budget come March 1st, also known as sequestration. All I can say is I'm worried. Escorted by UMass Chancellor and former Congressman Marty Meehan, Warren also took tours of the campus's Emerging Technologies Facility and Medical Device Development Center. Before that, she was at the Lowell Community Health Center, a newly renovated facility that now serves half of Lowell's 105,000 residents. Oh, what a beauty. By late afternoon, Warren was off to Gloucester to meet with fishermen. That high-profile public schedule, she was at Boston Medical Center Monday with Mayor Menino talking looming cuts to the NIH, stands in stark contrast to her Washington, D.C. profile, which by all accounts has been largely under the radar, often compared to Hillary Clinton's first year in the Senate. You know, I, I just don't think that's the right way to look at this. Warren says she's not deliberately following any model, just doing the job she was elected to do. That doesn't mean that, you know, I have to pop off about everything. It means I talk about the things that are really important, the things that I know something about, and the things where I might be able to make at least a small difference. And that means speaking out, as she did Thursday in her first ever meeting as a member of the Senate Banking Committee. Tell me a little bit about the last few times you've taken the biggest financial institutions on Wall Street all the way to a trial. Anybody? That video clip went viral, showing Warren's power in Washington, even as a freshman. What did you make of the answers you got? You know, they're very worrisome answers. Um, there's a reason that we set up the laws, giving a lot of different tools to our regulators. But it only works if the regulators are willing to pick them up and use them. Now, Elizabeth Warren tells me she's having fun in her new job. She says she likes working on issues that she thinks is helping to move the country forward. But as for the possibility that she will continue in this low profile role in Washington, D.C., I can't really see that happening given her role on the banking committee, given what her supporters are hoping she'll do on that committee, and given what we saw her do at that meeting last week. I think that profile is rising even as we speak. Back to you. The door is wide open for her as once again the new senior senator after only a month on the job from Massachusetts. Allison, thank you.